Everybody's just like talking about Rebecca right now, man. Making her. Oh, yo, she's gonna get so many subs. <laughs>What's up guys, it's Salavathan and we are back with another reaction today. Today we are continuing Eden Zero, we're on episode 12. Yo, this show man, Ugh, I can't, this current arc right now is is crazy. The whole uh, sister Gilst Chronophage thing, it's, um, it's too much, it really is. Well, anyway, recap quickly with the last episode, we got that Jin versus Shiki fight, you know, we got to see, um... Some of the stuff that happened with Sister and Elego, we got to see Rebecca get her revenge against Elego, which was really, really satisfying to see, honestly. Um, Lego was annoying as hell as a character. Um, it seemed that we learned a little bit more about Homura, because she did have a little bit of a ulterior, ulterior motive when she went to Gilst. And I'm assuming it was to free the sister. I'm assuming that's what it was. If there's more to that, I think we'll see with her character, but I don't know yet. I'm, I'm assuming it was to free the sister, but we'll see. Anyway, mind you, we're we're getting to where sister, the real sister Ivory shows up. Great character. Already freaking love her. She was on screen for five minutes, and I'm like, yo, I want more sister Ivory, please. <laughs> she she has such a strong character. She's the healer, and she, like, is beating people up. It's, like, complete opposites of her char like what her character should be, which is great because I expected something completely different. And I'm glad when shows kind of, like, um divert my expectations you know they kind of make things interesting and like you know you're not expecting these things they're surprises you know and that's what i like about shows when they're the shock value is there anyway um so all the girls got freed because we learned that the sister here was supposed to free all the girls like 10 years ago so te uh, 10 years elega was literally still kidnapping girls so that's messed <laughs> that's messed anyway um Chronophage is here, ready to eat up the planet. Everybody's rushing and scrabbling to get off the planet. Um, but we also got a little bit more character development with Jin, where we learned that he has a little sister named Clean, and Clean seems to be sick or something or needs to be healed. Now, I don't know if sister's powers can heal humans. I think it can only heal bots, but I'm just assuming. It could possibly he heal humans too. Who knows? Ether Gear, you know, this stuff is like... A whole different thing it's like magic technology and like aliens and robots all mixed together and that's Eden Zero and it's just some crazy stuff and we're supposed to understand it for the most part I have been understanding it though it's been pretty straightforward I can't lie it may be a crazy story but it opens up a lot more room for um, I guess extra stuff to be added in there and things to be explained a lot easier because they've already been pre-established before in the show so Saying Ether Gear in the beginning of the uh, first episode, you think, oh, okay, that's the power system. And then Rebecca starts talking about Ether as like a power source. And I'm like, is this like mana or something? And like how every planet has different, is it rich in different Ether, like rich in wind Ether, earth Ether, or like water Ether. Like the subtle little things that have been kind of um, being put out there into the story that aren't really uh, focused heavily onto the story, but focused more onto the fact that it'll probably be important later to know these facts. You know what I mean? Anyway, this has been a really long intro. Uh, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, turn on notifications so you know when I upload videos next and make sure you check out the Patreon link down below for full uncut reactions of this show and many, many more. And without further ado, we're going to get started with episode 12 of, of Eden Zero. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Mr. Chronophage is here. As we saw last time. <laughs> oh my god, they changed the uh, freaking subtitle style again. I hate this website. Of course. This guy, it literally never gives you any build-up in this show. It's like Shiki's just instantly always there to, like, save the day. <laughs> a 
He's able to uh, even make a gravitational field around him to kind of like move everybody. The day Gilst was purified. Oh, this is that girl from the uh, from the opening. かつて魔王ジギーに仕えていた思考性。だが仕方ねえ。これがこの宇宙の法則なんだ。ジブリですね、シスター。お、元気だったか、ビッチ。レビッカ。ハッピー。よかった、無事で。私。Oh, Man, yo, all that stuff was mad crazy, man. I'm glad this guy got his comeuppets, man. He deserved it. She really could have, she really could have died, man. Valkyrie and Hermes, is that what, is that what she said? Yo, Homura knows, man. Homura。<laughs> Oh, okay. Well, I, I still want her to be a part of the crew, yo. She, she's an asset. Huh? Exactly, man. Just join the crew, wise. Like, come on, you're already a part of the crew. You're already doing crew stuff. <laughs> He's like, no, man. I don't want to be a part of anything that you guys are doing here, man. None of it. <laughs> I guess he is, though. What a Sundere type of guy, bro. Just stop this. <laughs> Wait, Moskoy was with her the whole time, man? Bro, why is you need to get the hell out of here, man? You don't wanna you don't want the smoke that that sister's got right now, man. <laughs> don't push that button, man. Yo, is this the leader of the whatever these like space pirate things are? Not pirates, they look like space police. Yo, there's, just, yo, there's so many Galactic Six Demon Dan generals. Who are these guys? Okay, I guess we got introduced to another uh, character in the show. Dude, this show has way more fan service than Fairy Tail. It just doesn't care. Literally. This is like the seventh episode I've seen these people butt naked, man. <laughs> あれ、うちらの後継機だろ。ピーノですかあの子はいずれエデンズの光となる存在です。ウォー、ウィーザライトオブイデンズ。ありがとう。立体ドーマの装置か。おいらの塔を揃いなんだ。博士に買ってもら
Yo, what's going on on Blue Garden, man? What's happening right now? Everybody's just like talking about Rebecca right now, man. Making her. Oh, yo, she's gonna get so many subs. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I knew it. <laughs> I wonder what Iron Hill is. Is that like a planet or is that like a place? Every like, like place in this world is so magical and beautiful, man. Like you just have statues in the middle of space. The Guardians of Blue Garden, yo, that's crazy. I'm sure it's gonna be like in the near, in like the far future, but probably um little uh what's it called the history of like the dark ages yo she's here already hermit yo hermit's just chilling there she's just chilling there <laughs> little bit of a lighter episode but it was still pretty solid episode little light episode pretty solid um seemed like a bit of an information type of episode so what did we learn today let's recap <laughs> Homura and New Valkyrie, uh, one of the other um, night shining knights of the Eden Zero, and was trained by Valkyrie. So we don't know where Valkyrie is, but it seems that Valkyrie's ether gear is the Soul Sword. So um, that's why they recognized her. Um, we also had that stuff that happened with Rebecca. Whatever that was, that was just fodder stuff. Um, the uh turns out that uh that moscow whatever thing is actually a part of eden's crew so we're gonna have to get used to that weird creepy don't push me button robot thing <laughs> i can't that shit was just too funny um why is it joining the crew everybody's already there um the chrono phage took 1200 years off of gilst now I was shocked because I didn't really think about the, the benefits of what the Chronophage could actually have, especially to a planet that's already been destroyed or a, a planet that has suffered an apocalypse. You know, like, like let's say there's just lava, fire everywhere, and then a Chronophage comes in and reverts that planet back to where it used to be, right? The craziest thing is, it's like it reverts it back in time. So you actually have an opportunity of meeting people that you've read in history books. Think about how crazy that is, right? Imagine you're reading a history book about Albert Einstein and you're like, hmm, I need to ask him a question. Get on your ship, you go to the planet. Hey, hey, Albert, Albie, Albert, Albert, yo, wh 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 what's the answer to this question? <laughs> Stupid, but, um, <laughs> but yeah. Um, okay, and now we've uh, gotten to the point where we found Hermit, and we saw those cool statues on Blue Garden, which was really cool. What I was trying to say before, before while I was like, like distracted by Hermit sitting on there, was I really wanted to see a, um, or at least at some point in the show, to see a history of the Dark Ages. You know what I mean? It sounds like there was a lot going on back then before like things became as advanced as it did. It seems like the world or, or I guess their universe was a lot more rough back then, you know? Where you needed like robots like the Demon King or like those other kings or whatever that they had to defend things. Like that's how bad it got. But nevertheless, I don't know how far that, how we're gonna see any, they keep talking about the Dark Ages so I know they're gonna bring it up at some point, but whatever. Anyway, end of the episode, we found Hermit. She just chilling on one of those statues just, just there. That was pretty anticlimactic. I was kind of hoping to have like a whole other arc with Hermit, but we might still get that. I believe, I don't think it's at easy. I think she might not join the crew right away. She might just be doing some other stuff, but whatever. Anyway, that was great for the, the episode. It, it was a bit, it was good. It was a good solid episode. Um, so that's gonna be it for the video. Thank you all for your support. It's been so great. Been having a fun time doing this. Honestly, it's just enjoyable uh, recording, and hope to be able to do this a lot more 
and to have the time to be able to do a lot more, you know? But um, anyway, a uh, little quote for today. Don't run with scissors or you might poke your eye out. Yep. Anyway, peace out, guys. I will see you later. Bye.